Autoimmune hemolytic anemia usually there are two important classifications. There is one type called warm IgG type and the other type called cold IgM type. Okay? So what are the differences? Usually IgG so the red blood cells coated by IgG. So this is recognized by macrophages Okay, so as a result of this, the, the end result will be extra vascular hemolysis. So the features, you remember with extra vascular hemolysis jaundice, will be more than an intravascular and hepatocyplenomegaly. Okay also more than than intravascular because here the problem with the macrophages that ingest the abnormal or the coated red blood cells example SLE and chronic lymphocytic lymphoma other type which is called IgM this is red blood cells and red blood cells coated by this kind of antibodies which is IgM type. IgM type with red blood cells activate not the macrophages, although some of them may activate the macrophage, but usually activate the complement. Complement. And again, complement activation means intravascular hemolysis which is the same as differential differential diagnosis of intravascular hemolysis is PNH glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency and autoimmune hemolytic anemia IgM cold type okay here you will see the most characteristics clinical features for cold IgM is Raynaud's Raynaud's phenomena okay Raynaud's sorry Raynaud's phenomena you will not see jaundice you will not see hepatocyplenomegaly like in case of IgG type so finally what are the causes responsible for cold IgM here EBV virus, Epstein by virus, and mycoplasma. So we are the mycoplasma. Here you are dealing with infectious re reasons or causes, and in case while in case of warm IgG type, you are dealing with either autoimmune disease like SLE or malignancy like chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Final things, one of the treatment for IgG is because you are dealing with spleen, so one of the treatment is splenectomy while on the other side called IgM there is no splenectomy option in a treatment because you are dealing with intravascular hemolysis the main features in cold IgM type is rhinoids while the main feature in warm IgG type jaundice and hepatosplenomegaly okay